Boys, what is up? Exciting stuff. One year is officially here. Better deal started like eight minutes ago. And so I'm pumped to get this thing started and make a couple of vids uh, in the next few days with events and stuff. This is sweet. So day one, I'm hoping this is just gems every day. Oh, so this is so awesome. Because there's such an influx of gems over the next week, because of this event, that means that converting gold to gems is going to be way cheaper. So also, since Better Deals is on, people have been stocking up like crazy over the last couple of days, especially with Multicraft, just getting ready for this. So I'll show you guys what I've been doing to prep, and then we'll have some gameplay in a little bit with that. Oh, inventory's full. Shoot. Okay. Um, okay, so see how I've just, I've stocked up everything. I don't know how to do this. Um, we'll just go to items quick. Oops. And see, obviously I've just been stocking up like crazy. Okay. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to craft 12 more items right now. And then when I come back, all of my bins will be gone and I'll have all the racks out and it's time to just sell like crazy for two days. This is going to be nuts. Nothing good. Okay, so if you check this out, I've got 180 bows, 118 chests, etc. And then as you saw in market, I've been storing items as well because I was running out of space. So I have, from what I calculated, about 950 if not a little bit more uh, double enchanted tier 9 items so like a couple billion worth or more and we're gonna sell all that stuff hopefully in the next well tonight and tomorrow and then restock and do it all again so this is exciting um, I'll be back in a minute and I'll take out all of my racks or all of my bins and put out racks all right, we're back. So like I said, all the bins are now gone and I have um, essentially max energy other than just getting rid of these three chests back here, but I'm just keeping them for extra inventory space right now because I don't need them. Uh, so basically what these next couple days is going to look like, um, actually let's do one that's a little cleaner. Okay, so that's 1.1 million, but when we surcharge it, normally it'd be 2.2 but now it's 2.75 so that's 550k extra so it's like half a mil and if i have almost a thousand items that's basically 500 mil for free that i'm not doing anything for so it's crazy so um i don't have time to record a full episode right now but i'll be back in a little bit and um we'll rip through a ton of inventory and talk more about better deals and one year and all that stuff so i'll talk to you guys in a bit all right, I'm back. It's been a few hours, done lots of sales, getting through some inventory, finally have a chance to sit down and record a bit more of this event. So as you guys can see, I'm up about a thousand gems. So I did some moving on the market and transferred over about 200 mil into a thousand gems just because I'm making so much money on this event that I might as well take advantage and get my gem count up so that when there's things that I need to spend it on for whatever reason then I have them there. So that's done. Um, I think I went up like 1.1 G's in um, just cash as well. So I've probably sold through one and a half at least. And still we've got Three or four hundred items sitting there plus got lots of enchants left a hundred and it's like 240 or something cool so that's pretty much it loving this event it's so good it's really interesting normally we don't actually know what events are coming up like they might be hinted at or some people think that they might know but it's not like officially announced until basically on Friday we know when it actually launches but this time they did a poll weeks ago about what people's favorites of favorite events were and the top four that were voted get two days each this week so 
we actually knew that this was coming so we were able to just stock up a ton which is awesome So if you guys haven't um, been keeping up with recent videos and what's been going on, um, basically what I said was a lot of people have still been asking me about uh, gem guides specifically, uh, how I got where I'm at, free to play with gems and that sort of thing. So basically what I said was when we get to a thousand subs on the channel, then I'll make those guides like as in-depth as I possibly can with uh, all of my strategies and stuff with how to make gems and also we're going to be doing a few mini series and things coming up uh, one of them is an FAQ series so any frequently asked questions that I get asked or by the community or whatever I'm going to do a series of videos talking about that so if you guys have any questions um, please feel free to either message me or comment here and I'll try to add those to my list of things to answer in upcoming vids uh, another one is a free-to-play mini-series that I'll be doing pretty soon. So I want to talk about what that looks like, um, what I feel is the best w things to actually spend money on in the game to get you um, get you further, help you out the most value for your dollar. And what are some other ones? There's a couple other ones I've been thinking about doing there's a couple guides that'll be coming out soon as well there's an ascension guide like all on shards and how to use them and uh, what my recommendations are um, just in in detail which I haven't done before so that comes out in a couple of days and a couple other guides that I'll be doing pretty soon too so yeah lots going on good stuff I feel like this part is really boring because we're just waiting for customers to come in one at a time, so it's not the most exciting vid ever. I guess I could just cut it and wait for more people to come in and then... You guys can just see selling stuff back to back to back to back. I guess we could do that. Let's try. There we go. So as I talked about before, I think in certain events it makes a lot more sense to have bins and racks out. Like for multi-craft, obviously that makes sense. For quality, um, top quality, which comes out in a couple of days, that makes the most sense. But for these types of events, like Customer Frenzy and this one and haggle which comes out in like four days or five days whatever i think it makes more sense for me anyway to just have all of my racks out have max energy and be able to one shot all my tier nines just gonna make a crazy amount of money like even right now if i search all these items by the way they're just selling for gold so i'm not wasting a spot in my shop so don't think anything of it like that's what i'm using to transfer into gold so if i look at all seven of my items Like what they're selling for like look at this that's like 200k profit plus 25 percent so that's what like another 200k so it's like 400k profit just for selling one item because of the better deals event so it doesn't even make sense for me to be crafting right now because the money in this is just so insane like literally for the next two days I probably won't put a rack out and I'll just be selling because it's way better money than anything else could be. And if I don't have time to like sit down and actually like play and go through customers. Oh shoot. Sorry about that. As I was saying, if I don't have time uh, to just sit down and go through customers or, or I just have like a little bit of time rather than logging on and crafting. If I've got a couple minutes, I can just log on and just sit there and like buy enchants, buy more items, enchant them, put them on shelves so that when I do have time during these events to be selling, that I've got the items ready. Because as you've seen previously, like it takes tons and tons of clicks to sit there and buy through like hundreds of enchants and hundreds of items and enchant them all and put them all on, the sh on your shelves and move them around and just actually have your shelves ready like each of these items that I'm selling like sell sell I had to buy that item I had to buy the spirit I had to buy um, 
Sorry, I always forget the, both sides of it, but basically both the enchantments, I had to enchant the item and then put it on a shelf. So it's not like just a one-click thing, but like the thousand items took me buying, you know, 3,000 items and then putting them all on. and Like it's a lot more work than just sitting here and selling. So for me, it just makes more sense to be doing that in my free time and then selling when I can actually sit down and play rather than crafting every once in a while just because this money is so crazy but any other time it makes sense to be crafting when I'm you know throughout the day when I can't sit down and play and then at night sit down and sell but we have top quality coming out in what 18 hours or one day in 18 hours so then it'll be top quality and two days later it'll be haggle so top quality is always good just because you can actually get some good crafts like legendaries and stuff but since tier 9's been out for so long like really legendaries aren't worth what they were like of course when they first come out they're like 900 gems a piece and then here we are a couple months down the road and most of them are less than 100 gems like yeah it's just not as good as it was but I mean still if you're getting um, legendary tier 9 a chance or you know, more rare items or ones that people are actually looking for rather than just these free-to-play items that, that I'm crafting like these ones, then, I mean, you might be making a lot more than I am, but for me, it's not quite as good as it used to be. Well, you're probably getting bored of just watching me <laughs> sell items one after the other, so that'll be it. I'll be selling through quite a bit more. Hopefully by the end of this event we'll be up to like 3 G's or something like that cash and uh, we'll see what happens after this. Thanks for watching as always guys. If you've got questions or want to reach out, anything at all, have suggestions for FAQ, whatever, um, love to hear from you. I'll help wherever I can and uh, as always I appreciate the view and we will talk to you guys soon.